Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is from the topic of differentiation. And in this question, we have been told that e raised to y plus x into y is equal to e. We need to find the derivative d to y by dx square at x equals to z. So let's understand how to find this. So first thing what I'll do is at x equals to 0, let's find what is the value of y, right? So in this expression, which is given to us, I'll substitute x as 0. So I get e raised to y plus 0 into y, that is 0, is equal to e. So e raised to y becomes e. If nothing is there in the power, means it is 1. So if I compare this, I get y as 1. So the value of y is equal to 1 here. Now, let's see. So e raised to y plus x into y is equal to e. So if I differentiate this expression with respect to x, what do I get? Let's find out. So I get here e raised to y dy by dx plus here you have the product of x and y. So if you take the derivative of this entire expression, you get this as x into dy by dx plus y into derivative of x that is 1 and derivative of e is nothing but 0. So you get here e raised to y dy by dx plus x dy by dx plus y is equal to 0. So you get here x plus e raised to y dy by dx is equal to minus y. So dy by dx becomes minus y upon e raised to y plus x. Right? Now, we already know that at x equals to 0, y is equal to 1. So, if I put that, dy by dx becomes minus 1 upon e raised to 1 plus 0. So, it becomes minus 1 by e. So, that's the whole value of dy by dx. That it is equal to minus 1 by e. Now let's try to find the double derivative of the entire expression. So we already know this idea with us. So if I derivate or differentiate this entire expression again with respect to x, let's understand what I get. So if I differentiate with respect to x again and the expression we had, let's write that first. So if we write that we had e raised to y dy by dx plus x dy by dx plus y is equal to 0, right? So if I differentiate this with respect to x, so I get here, again, the product of two things is present. So if I differentiate one at a time, I get e raised to y dy by dx and 1 dy by dx is present. So I'm keeping dy by dx as it is plus if I keep e raised to y as it is and take differentiation of dy by dx, it becomes d2y by dx square plus again the product of two. So x into derivative of dy by dx is d2y by dx square plus dy by dx into derivative of x that is one and derivative of y is again dy by dx. That is equal to zero. So now if I see here, I get d2y by dx square. Common thing, if I take out d2y by dx square, common I have left here e a raised to y plus x plus dy by dx, I have e raised to y into dy by dx, the whole square. Then I also have dy by dx plus dy by dx, so it becomes 2 dy by dx. That is equal to c. Because I need to find the value of d2y by dx square at x equals to 0, we already know at x equals to 0, y is equal to 1, and dy by dx, which is given to us, that was minus 1 by e. 
So if I substitute all of these ideas, I will get d2y by dx squared. So let's do that. So in this equation, if I put all of these three values, I'll get d2y by dx squared. That is nothing but e raised to one. So e plus zero plus here I again get e raised to one. This is minus one by e the whole square plus two and dy by dx is again minus one. That's it. So what I get here y by dx square into e plus. Here you get e into 1 by e square. So 1 e 1 e gets cancelled. You have minus 2 by e again. That is equal to 0. You get d2y by dx square into e is equal to. This is 1, my, 1 by e minus 2 by e. So it is minus 1 by e. If it goes to the right it becomes 1 by e a to y by dx where I get it this as 1 by x. So this is the answer for the question which is asked to us that find the value of d2y by dx square at x equals to 0. So you just needed to find the values of y at x equals to 0. Then differentiating the given expression we get dy by dx also that is equal to minus 1 by e. Again differentiating this further we get d2y by dx square also. And we know at x equals to 0, y is 1 and dy by dx was minus 1 by e. Just substituting that, you get d2y by dx square as 1 by e square. And if you see the option that matches here with the question is, so correct answer for this question is e. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where differentiation is involved. I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also share those videos with your family and friends. Thank you.